Hey there friends, on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up an account with Binance. It's really easy, let's get into it. Okay, now this is really important. We're gonna be setting up an account for Binance.us. This is gonna be for people using Binance in the US. And basically what happened is Binance.com, the original Binance, basically began restricting US residents from accessing and trading on their site. So Binance.us was created to get around some of those regulations. Again, same company, it's just a way for US folks to access the exchange. So if you had an account previously with Binance.com, you will need to set up a new one with Binance.us, again, as a US citizen. So that being said, let's go ahead and click the Get Started button, and we'll set up a new account. I'm gonna type in my email and my password, and I actually have a referral ID from a friend. If this is a helpful video for you and you wanna set up a Binance account, we'll put a referral ID in the description box below that you can use, and it helps out our channel. Okay, after you input your email and your password, a verification code will be sent to that email. Again, this is just to make sure you're inputting legit email addresses. And we're gonna input that six number code right here. Okay, now there are gonna be some identity verification steps that you need to walk through. Again, this is the difference between Binance.us versus Binance.com is the one here based for US citizens needs a little more identity verification. First thing we're gonna do though is we're gonna secure our account. Let's click on this. What this is gonna do is it's gonna set up a two-factor authentication process with your mobile phone by sending you a text message. Let me type in my phone number here and we'll have that code sent to the phone. Okay, after we've entered that text code, our last step is to verify our identity. And we can do this by uploading a government ID like your driver's license. So I'm gonna go ahead and click verify identity. And as you can see, we're gonna to need to type in our first name, last name, your gender, date of birth, and then your social security number. Friends, this is a lot of information, plus your driver's license that you're gonna be giving to this institution. But understand that there are risks involved with handing over information to financial institutions should their accounts be hacked. Again, take this at your own risk. If you're comfortable, fill out this information, we'll hit the next button and we'll see what the next screen looks like. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is enter our street address. Okay, the next thing we need to do is look through the account agreement. This is a self-directed custodial account. So you just need to really read through this, understanding what you are signing, and then we'll hit the accept agreement button. Okay, the next thing we need to do is verify our identity by uploading a valid government ID. So again, what they recommend is a driver's license. Finance is a little bit different in that they want you to take a picture live of your driver's license in order to do the verification. You can't just upload a file. So we're gonna go ahead and click the start button and we're going to hold up our driver's license in front of our computer's camera. Okay, if that weren't enough, you now have to do a face verification with that same computer camera. So we'll click the start button, we'll get our face in frame, and they'll use that to confirm it's the same face that is on your driver's license. Okay, after you take your picture, your identity verification will be in progress, and they're currently being reviewed. This can take a little while, or it can actually be very quick, depending on the current status of new accounts being opened with Binance. Let's click on the dashboard. Okay, so we actually have access to our dashboard now. Again, you won't be able to do very much until our identity is verified, but this will give us the ability to kind of move through it, check some things out, make sure we get familiar with the interface uh, before we're ready to do some trading. So I'm gonna get back to you as soon as our identity is verified and let you know how long that process took. Okay, so it took roughly 24 hours, at least overnight, and we received an email back that said, verification had been approved. And as you can see, we're all set up. So basically what we need to do now is add a payment method. So what we can currently do right now is actually deposit cryptocurrency if we have that stored on another platform. Or if you're ready to just buy cryptocurrency straight out, we can actually add a payment method. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, get my bank account all linked up so we can actually purchase some currency. Friends, I hope this has helped. If it has, hit that thumbs up button. If you guys are looking to sign up for a Binance account and want to use our link, that would be great. It'd be really helpful. You can find that again in the description box below. Hit the subscribe button because we're actually going to be making a bunch more Binance.us tutorials. Those will be coming out really, really soon. 
Thanks again for watching and we'll see you again on the next one.